Welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today, The A-List Review. I am your host, The Game Changer, Wes Truth, and it's time to go back to the theater. And as you can see, my Marvel comic shirt is on, so that must mean one thing. It's time for yet another MCU film. And with the latest release, we are headed back to the multiverse. My review of the 2022 comic book film, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, coming up now. <laughs> When America Chavez, a teen who has the ability to jump verse to verse throughout the multiverse, lands in our reality, she's rescued from an interesting predicament by Dr. Stephen Strange. Strange soon realizes that America is being chased by other forces that won her power and goes to Wanda Maximoff, a.k.a. the Scarlet Witch, who's recovering from her own personal trauma for assistance. Soon the characters find themselves back in the multiverse with their lives, especially America's, in danger. So what did I think of Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness? I thought it's a creative and stylish superhero film. It's directed by Sam Raimi, who's best known for directing the first three Evil Dead movies and the original Spider-Man trilogy. Raimi definitely brings some of his signature style to the film with a number of horror elements without being too scary, some of which did give off an Evil Dead vibe. I also think it's the first time there's been a few jump scares in an MCU film. The visuals here are fantastic, from the different versions of big cities to some awesome backgrounds during Scarlet Witch's scenes. There's also a sequence where Strange and America travel through a bunch of different universes in a number of seconds, which is a lot of fun. It's definitely a more adult entry in the MCU, as it's more violent with a bit of a body count and a darker tone, which is welcome. The action sequences are exciting, from a monster rampaging through, from, through New York to a few magic battles between the characters, which are pretty clever. The story is rather hard to talk about without spoiling, but Strange, who had experiences with the multiverse after the events of Spider-Man No Way Home, now must travel back in to save the girl he just met. It's also a sequel to WandaVision, which I've only seen about half of. I'd recommend checking out the series as you should be able to follow this story, but you'll be able to understand it a lot better if you do watch WandaVision. Anytime you throw in variants of characters, multiple realities, and universes, you can always run the risk of things getting a little overly convoluted, but it never gets too out of control here. I was glad that they didn't overdo the humor here, as it is a bit darker. There are a few laugh-out-loud moments, however, and some gags for Raimi fans. There's also a number of heartfelt and emotional moments, mostly dealing with Wanda's situation. I actually would have liked the runtime to be a little longer, as its first act is pretty fast-paced, and certain things are told to the audience that I feel could have been shown instead. The cast stars Benedict Cumberbatch reprising his role as Dr. Stephen Strange, the master of the mystic arts that must deal with the multiverse yet again, Elizabeth Olsen as Wanda Maximoff slash Scarlet Witch, the Avenger who can alter reality and harness chaos magic, Chiwetel Ejiofor as Carl Mordu, the Sorcerer Supreme in a different reality whose alternate version used to be Strange's mentor, Benedict Wong as Wong, the Sorcerer Supreme and Strange's friend and ally, Sochi Gomez as America Chavez, the teenager with the ability to travel between dimensions, and Rachel McAdams as Christine Palmer, the emergency surgeon and Strange's former love he still has feelings for. There's also a handful of spectacular cameos that will give us a sneak peek of things to come in the MCU and a number of fun Easter eggs throughout as well. Of course, there are two after credit scenes to stick around for. Doctor Strange and the Multiverses of Madness is an entertaining and macabre experience easily worth making an appointment for. Number-wise, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10, which gives it the score of a high do-it. 
All right, well, that's the show. I'll be back with another review very soon. But until then, don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Westside of 515. Like the show on Facebook, facebook.com slash West True Playlist. And of course, you can follow me on the Twitter, the Instagram, and letterbox at West A List. Until next time, Troop out.